Hi everyone, my name is Nikki and I'm so thrilled today to be able to bring you recipes from my new book, Live Well and Thrive. One of my greatest passions is finding ways to make comfort food healthy, especially things like chocolate brownies, which is what I'm going to show you how to make today. Uh, these chocolate brownies are full of protein, full of healthy fats and are pretty much a guilt-free snack for anybody who's looking for something sweet but doesn't really want to break from their diet or eat something full of sugar. And of course, the recipe can be found in the, in the, in the new recipe book, which is available everywhere. So I'm going to start off by just explaining how we do this. It is not your normal brownie recipe. First thing is we're going to make it from primarily bananas and bananas are the binder uh, that's going to hold everything together. So we need to blend those up really well so it becomes like a goo and this is going to replace the gluten that you'd normally find in wheat flour. So I'm going to pop the bananas in my blender. Now if you don't have a blender you can certainly use a Nutribullet to blend bananas but if you have nothing and load shedding is getting you down which does all of us, you can simple, simply use muscle power. So you can mash up your bananas with a fork and you can use a whisk for the rest of the ingredients. It does work, it's just a lot more difficult. So personally, I think investing, if you can, in at least a good quality blender, something you're gonna have for life and you'll use it every day. So let's do this. All right, so these are really well blended, very gooey, and this is what's gonna hold our brownies together. Then I'm going to add egg yolks and some warmed up nut butter. You can use any nut butter. If you've got um, peanut butter or almond butter, it doesn't really matter, but rather go for the sugar-free variety. That's what we're aiming for here. So our sugars and our carbs are gonna come from the bananas. And from a nutritional point of view, we've got lots of potassium in the bananas. Um, it's a lot of banana going on here but you're not gonna eat them all at once, hopefully. So I'm gonna put our egg yolks in there. And then what I've got here is the warmed, sugar-free peanut butter in this case. It is a chunky peanut butter. And I made this just by blending peanuts, raw peanuts with olive oil. And it's so easy to do. And it's actually cheaper than buying it at a shop. Okay, so we've got those guys in there. Then what I'm going to add is whey protein powder, my favorite thing ever. It's a chocolate whey protein powder, and that's gonna balance the glycemic index of our banana. So it's gonna balance off the carbs, it's gonna stop the glucose response from happening too quickly. Um, and to that, I'm gonna add some more cocoa powder because we want really chocolatey chocolate brownies, not just iffy chocolate brownies. Then what I'm gonna do is add xylitol syrup, just for a little bit of extra sweetness. So xylitol syrup is an optional extra. So please don't feed your xylitol or your brownies to your dogs and cats because xylitol is highly toxic for animals. All right, so that's all we're gonna do for now. I wanna blend this up again and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So we have a beautiful, beautiful brownie batter. Um, and you wouldn't believe it until you make it that this can actually turn into something that really resembles a real chocolate brownie. So now what I'm gonna do is take my egg whites. So what I did initially was I took three eggs, separated them, and then beat the egg whites. And the egg whites are gonna give us lift and lightness. So it's gonna create a puffy, lighter brownie, not a dense, hard uh, cake consistency. So I wanna pour this in here. Don't blend your egg whites. You want to just stir them in or fold them in very, very gently so you don't break the air bubbles. And it's the air bubbles that are going to give us a nice consistency and a nice lift. So you just want to gently massage, for want of a better word, your egg whites into the brownie mixture just very, very slowly to maintain the bubbles. And the bubbles are what's going to give us a lightness to, to the brownies. So what I'm going to do is pour the batter into a greased lined baking tin. Um, quite a small one. It's about, I'd say, 10 by 10 centimeters. And you just want to evenly distribute it, but it is quite runny, so it's going to sort itself out really nicely. Okay, then what I want to do just sprinkle some roughly chopped, chopped nuts on top. I'm using pecans, you can use anything. So whatever appeals to you. And again, nuts, the nutritional value. We're looking at some protein, lots of healthy fats and some, some selenium. And that's it. Put it in the oven for about 20 minutes and off we go. It's 
So our brownies are ready and they look utterly amazing. So typically what you want to do is wait for it to cool before you cut them and dish them up. Um, but what I'm going to do is just try and get one out of here so you can see exactly what it looks like inside. And you probably can't tell the difference between a banana brownie and a traditional brownie. So that's utterly perfect. Perfect, you'd never know that wasn't made with real flour. So cool. So I hope you enjoyed that and saw how, exactly how easy it is to make a really healthy treat for when you're craving something sweet but don't want to break into your healthy eating regime. These recipes can be found in my new book, Live Well and Thrive. And if you happen to make them and they turn out incredibly well, which they should, please send us a photo and you could receive a free signed copy of Thrive.